Now, with summer in full swing, you may be ready to buy a home, or at least maybe thinking about it. MSU Federal Credit Union Chief Marketing Officer Deidre Davis, she's with us today to discuss the different types of mortgage loans and how to determine what is right for you. Good morning, Deidre. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Now, the difference between a conventional mortgage and an FHA mortgage. I've heard of FHA mortgages. Is one better than the other? So it's not that one is better than the other, but they're both designed for specific needs. So an FHA loan is backed by the federal government, by the uh, Federal Housing Authority. And with that, you typically have less restrictive uh, guidelines to qualify, whereas a conventional mortgage, typically you'll need a higher credit score, a lower debt to income ratio, and a higher down payment. So it's not that one is necessarily better than the other, but one might be better for you given your particular situation. And so how do you know which of those mortgage terms are right for you? Basically when it comes to, you got FHA or conventional, but then you hear 30 years, 15 years, some other length. How do you make that determination? Is it just solely on how much money you can put out each month? Yeah, so um, so it's a really great question, but again, it comes back to your specific situation. So look at your budget and know what you can afford, and then also look at your financial goals. So a good rule of thumb is that your uh, mortgage payment not be more than 25% of your take-home pay. And so when you take that into account, then you look at that 30-year or 15-year. So a 30-year based on the same uh, home that you're purchasing, so the same dollar amount, purchase price, the 30 year is stretching that dollar amount over a longer period of time. So of course the payment would be lower. However, you'll pay more in interest over the life of that loan. Conversely, a 15 year would have that higher payment, less interest over the life of your, of your loan. So if you're not quite sure you can make that 15 year payment, which would be the higher payment, something good to think about is the 30 year uh, mortgage but paying it like a 15, but always make sure that your specific mortgage lender doesn't have any prepayment penalties, but that way you can get that mortgage paid off a lot quicker, make that home really yours, um, and pay less in interest. 25% of your net income, probably important to say, your take home, what you're actually taking home, not the gross, and yeah, you're right, you don't wanna pay those penalties if you're actually working to pay your home off early. So when's the right time? Right. Yeah, when's the right time to apply for a mortgage? I mean, is there a better time than another time? So it's always about when you can afford it. So sometimes people think, you know, oh, this is a great time to buy. But if you're not in the right position to buy, then it certainly isn't the right time for you to buy. So take a look at your budget. Make sure that you know what you can afford. And also look at the debt you have and what's your timeline to get that paid off or how will you manage that in addition to a mortgage payment. And then also, you want to know your credit score and you want to know what's going on with your credit. So if you have a, a higher credit score, then you can typically qualify for a lower interest rate, which will save you money in that payment. So you might want to take a look at your credit. You see that maybe there's an issue or two. Get those cleaned up before you apply and before you get your mortgage so you can be in the best financial situation. And it's always a really good idea to save for a down payment ahead of time because it sounds like, you know, oh, if I just get a mortgage, everything will be great. But that's not always the case. So you want to make sure you can afford that mortgage and that you have money that might cut to cover any things that might come along like a um, water pump that goes out or something like that. So make sure you have some in savings also. Thanks for the time, Deidre. Sorry to cut you short, but we can go to msufcu.org for more information. Thanks for joining us. We'll talk